All right, guys, this is Bobby with Southern Comfort Automotive Performance. This is one of our new 2016 Jeeps that we're doing. Um, just had to do a video on this one. This one really caught my eye. Something different, you know, than what you don't normally see going down the road. Um, hope you guys like it and appreciate it. But anyway, this was a white Jeep, and we painted it Desert Storm. We painted the door jams, as you'll see, going forward. I mean, we painted the whole thing, basically. So it's... um. You know, just different, something you're not going to run into or cross paths with that much going down the road. I wouldn't think anyway. I've never seen one this color. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll just start at the front like I always do and just kind of work my way from there. This is one of our front bumpers that we offer. We've got a couple of options, but this one, as you can see, doesn't extend all the way out past the tire so that it gives it more travel, more turning radius. So if you ever do want to go off-roading or just doing some basic, you know, dirt stuff and sand stuff, then um, it'll give you plenty of options to do that. That's one of the reasons we put this bigger fender on here is to give you more travel between the wheels so you don't rip the fender off these things, um, which as most of you know that do anything with these Jeeps, you can definitely do that if you get them in a bind. This is a Fabtech Dirt Logic lift kit that we use. Um, we do paint the springs, paint the, you know, the back control arms that go back and the ones that go to the side. We paint the differential as you can see. There's a large chunk there. It's got the steering stabilizers on there. Fast tech so you can take the pin loose right here and give yourself more travel with these things. So I want to say it's got like 11 inches of travel. I hope I'm not mistaken. You can see right here, just on down here, that we've got a snorkel kit that we've put on this one. So you can, you know, get it out there and get it wet and not have to worry about killing anything in the motor or sucking water down in there. As you can see, we put our SCA exclusive grill insert on here with our logo cut out. We've got the halo lights from Oracle on here. It's kind of flashing and it's not doing that in person, but I guess the way the camera pixelated, it picks it up. Got a worn winch, 8,000 pound worn winch. A good old pull thing there. Rigid lights here, here, and here. So you can light the world up with them things. As you guys know that follow me, I mean, we love rigid lights. They're a great company. Um, got the tow hooks here. Got the rubber on there so you don't scratch them up and, you know, just kind of gives it a different look. Like I mentioned before, these are replacement fender flares. Side skirt here. The back one is replaceable as well, or we have replaced it, as you can tell, as well. They are metal, the real deal. I mean, this is not something that's, you know, you don't have to worry about babying it or anything like that, obviously. So, got the rocker panel on here. Not really a step. I mean, I guess you can use that for it if you had to step up on top or something to take the top loose. But it, more than anything, it just gives you protection for the doors and the undercarriage right there if you do get off road with it. High sided. <coughs> this thing's cool right here. I wish you guys could see. Maybe I need to do a video one day of our inside of our shop where we cnc this it's a piece of billet we've got a cnc machine that cuts down everything and then we paint in there and got our logo it's just really cool but, uh, i've been doing this for 25 years and we can do something like that in house wheels are just the xd series rockstar what rockstar wheels say that right bobby um, we do paint the inserts as you can see to kind of match the jeep color the theme of it just working our way back around as you guys can see, we've put a soft cover with a fast back on it from Best Top. This top, they are expensive, but man, the guys that use these things, they don't leak water, and that's the key on these tops when we swap them. You can buy stuff cheaper, but you kind of get what you pay for. This is our rear bumper that we offer. It's got the backup lights in it here, as well as here. I'll turn all the lights on here in a second so you guys can see it. Got the fifth wheel on the back, obviously. Got the off-road jack with a light right here that you can turn on separately when you back up so you can see at night. Tow hooks on the back with the rubber grommets. This is real cool too, the way this opens. This, these wheels on these things are so heavy. Sorry about the poor camera work. But um, the way this bumper is made, as you can see when it opens, it swings out and pivots on the bumper. So the door is not taking the weight of this tire, which golly, this thing probably weighs 120 pounds. Or at least it feels like it with my when well, yeah, I feel it. But anyway, as you can see, we painted the inside of the door here. I would raise this up, but honest to God, I think I gotta unzip everything to do it. But we put WeatherTech floor mats in them. We're working on getting our name put in those. Um, which is a 
real cool feature. As you can see, it's got the all weather stuff under there as well from Jeep. Let me shut this. See how it shuts pretty good. I mean, you don't have to jack the door up and down or side to side to get it to lock. It's got the covers for the tail lights built into the flare. I'm telling you, dude, that is solid, man. That's pretty cool. Got the feature back here where we put the <clears throat> cover on the back of the differential tube to protect it. Got some shocks back here that we do obviously just kind of keep it up underneath the Jeep. Let's take a poke inside here so y'all can see it. Here's the window sticker so you can see what we started with. Sorry about my shadow. Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. With all the goodies on it. 43.9 before we touch it. Woo! They are nice, dude. As you can see, we painted around the vents here, the dash. We put our JK Z2 logo on the headrest. This is factory leather here from Jeep. Got the pull handles in it. Just a cool looking Jeep, dude. I'd buy this song. our logo or our window sticker and get to it where y'all see it we can just see all the options that we put on them and the pricing that it retails for so they are expensive I mean, we don't deny that we don't you know expect to sell a billion of these things we just trying to do something different that you know guys that don't have the time or the expertise you know so many guys that buy these jeeps can do them themselves but a lot of guys can't you know i mean they just don't have the time or the knowledge or the you know the wisdom to do it the right way so it doesn't screw it up as you know you can tear one of these things up in an absolute heartbeat you're not careful what you're doing with them as far as suspension components and tires and wheels offsets and rear ends and all that good stuff we'll hit the lights here's the light switches here it controls everything and of course no it's on I'm sorry you can see these are lit up. It's hard to see during the day. But at night, buddy, this thing is bright. Turn the lights on. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, it's got the LED lights in the headlight. You know, that ring is blinking on here, but it's not in real life. It's weird how that works. Ain't smart enough to understand how all the camera pixels things do and all that junk. So, and this light will come on when you put it in reverse. So, with the switch on, as well as those down there. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Sorry to ramble a little bit. I know it's a long one, but just want to take time to show this thing off. I'm pretty proud of them in a good way, and excited to benchmark over here and. Birmingham, Alabama has partnered up with us to do these things. We appreciate those guys and hope you guys come visit them for any of your Dodge Chrysler Jeep needs. Have a great week.